I just break the rules. Yeah. Let's stay in tune. What's going on, guys? Just wanted to jump on here and give a little uh, bit of my thoughts and review, maybe, on uh, what ESPN Plus is. Uh, ESPN Plus is a relatively new streaming service offered by ESPN uh, through its already existing ESPN app. It's about $5 a month and uh, more recently has become more of a standalone app, meaning you don't need a cable or satellite subscription to have it. Uh, they also recently announced that you will get ESPN Insider as part of your subscription. Uh, so articles that were once marked as just Insider and you had to pay to access are now just marked with uh, the uh, orange, I believe it's kind of like an orange plus sign, uh, and you will now have access to that. That means you will get all of the Mel Kuyper, mock drafts, trade rumors, and there's some other random articles throughout a uh, number of different sports that uh, you will now be able to gain access to. Uh, and these types of things can be found on the internet for free in other places. Uh, but not by the ESPN personality. So that's kind of what you're paying for here is that it's probably written by someone that you know of um, and then you've heard of more more so. I, I've been a previous subscriber of uh, Insider and it wasn't really worth the money that you paid in the past, but uh, I think it was grouped with the uh, magazine at that point. But at this point with the video streaming service, it might be worthwhile. Um, so as you can see, maybe that uh, I was on the Roku here earlier. So I have it just on the ESPN app, as I had said. Um, you can access it through anything where the app's really available. So Roku, Chromecast, Fire Stick, Apple TV, obviously your computer, tablet, and phone as well. Um, I did recently try and get the uh, App State game on the Xbox One. And although the ESPN app does exist there, it doesn't seem like it's been integrated with ESPN+. Plus. So if you can see here, you know, you'll be thrown down into some of the options immediately. If you go back up, now you're up here at the uh, featured ESPN Plus Originals Browse. So I believe everything that's not on the ESPN Plus tab here would be essentially what ESPN 3 used to be. Um, so we'll click into ESPN Plus here and go through some of that. Um, the, a lot of the offerings right now, you've got a lot of soccer, football, boxing, UFC, fantasy sports, hockey. Uh, I know when hockey was on here earlier, you're not getting live games, you're getting replays. So the day after a Stanley Cup playoff game, you'll be able to access that back if you're interested in that. Um, you've got baseball, variety of college sports, eSports, 30 for 30s, racing, tennis, golf, lacrosse, and some ESPN originals. Um, let's see, let's just take a look. So you've got some Serie A here, which is uh, probably the top, I believe it's the top league in Italy. So that's a pretty big get for ESPN+. Plus. Um, you've got some international basketball there with FIBA and even some rugby there. So here's some of the stuff coming up. It's usually kind of listed like this. It'll give you what's live currently kind of first and give you, you know, like our quick options. Um, upcoming events, it's going to list all of this. So it looks like a lot more international basketball is going on here. Um, there's some, see, there we go, is uh, some NCAA field hockey. So for those of you who want to catch all different types of sports, you've obviously got those types of options with this. There's men's soccer, um, which isn't easily found in a lot of places. Um, you've got your MLS here. Um, women's soccer as well, more field hockey. So you, as you can see too, they're not all big schools. You got University of Albany versus Dartmouth here. Um, so these are pretty good options for anybody looking for the stuff that's harder to find. Uh, these are some of the, I guess the specific to ESPN Plus, as you can see there with the uh, orange um, on the left hand corner, the E and the plus. It's typically their uh, marking for their their uh, originals programmings. Um, I've watched a couple of these fantasy shows, and you can take it for what it's worth. I play fantasy football, but I'm not going to sit here and watch 30 minute shows all the time. But you know, it's kind of nice that you have it as an on demand service. Essentially, you don't have to go on the TV and try and check that out every time it's live. If you 
do want to get into that type of stuff. I've never watched I'll Take That Bet, never watched the show with Katie Nolan, but you know, some of these things could be of interest to certain people. Uh, and there's this detail, which um, I didn't know they were doing for the WNBA, I guess, but typically it's uh, Kobe Bryant's breakdown of the NBA. Uh, believe, I believe he's going to do it in the regular season as well, but I know it started last year during the playoffs. So uh, for anyone who likes a bigger and better breakdown than what you get in a sports center, uh, you may be interested in checking that out. Again, here are a lot of the uh, choices by shows in general, not a specific episode of the show, but um, I'm guessing you can go back and watch some recent replays and see what's coming up. Um, you have ESPN dailies, so I guess these are just daily updates to what's going on. As you can see, they go back it's every single day. ESPN FC's got a show that comes on and gives you recaps. And then sometimes for these bigger stuff, They've got um, essentially it laid out. So Italian Serie A, these are the these are live and upcoming. These here are the replays. MLS, same thing, live and upcoming. Um, college football, also the same thing. So recent replays, and then they've got all the 30 for 30s down here. I think every single one that's already been played is here. I would assume that the newest ones will probably get their play on ESPN first and then make their way over here after a day or so, kind of like your typical on-demand channels for cable shows and satellite shows. Uh, you've got some classic tennis here, what's new. This is some of the eSports for anyone who wants to watch other people play video games. I don't know why you'd ever do that, but they do have the opportunity. Um, you can go back and watch some classic games. Um, not always going to find the every single game, but they'll have some of the bigger ones that were more important during the season. This is an enhanced um, episode. It's got six episodes. They're all around 40, 45 minutes long. Um, I've checked out two of them. They're pretty interesting. Uh, this is definitely an ESPN original here. You're not going to find this anywhere else. So uh, Some pretty cool stuff here. I believe I watched the uh, recovery one and I watched the skill one. So, you know, just a different look and... Uh, a little bit different shows that you could check out. Best of Boxing, and then you've got more stuff on demand. Uh, this OJ Made in America was really popular back in the day. So um, let's just check out one of these options and see what uh, we're looking like here. Um, as you can see, it kind of loads up just like you know your Netflix or anything else would. Um, and I'm not sure how well you can see the quality from here. But it is just a tad granular to start with. Um, just like most streaming services, it might take just a second. I'm also a little bit further from the Wi-Fi in this room than I would have been downstairs. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't take any longer than a Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime streaming service would take to load up. Um, let's just see if we can kind of fast forward and see what we got here as far as you know taking time to load up I mean that was really quick that's probably faster than some of my Netflix does when uh, I've jumped a forward to try and find a specific spot um, so you know it's all going to depend on on your Wi-Fi specifically but uh, overall it's a pretty good service and it's pretty easy to jump back and um, kinda get back to your options and you know, it works pretty fast. I like the layout. It's easy to read. It's pretty easy to find things. Um, only a very few times have I had trouble with a feed to load up, but I don't know how much that's the service or how much that's been on site because a couple of those have been college football games where the home team is covering the game. So, you know, it's not always going to be perfect, but with any streaming service, it's pretty good. It's probably one of my best and my favorite streaming services right now. So for anyone thinking about getting it, I would suggest it, especially if you're a sports fan from small market teams or uh, smaller colleges. This is a really good option, and uh, odds are you'll be able to find kind of what you're looking for.